the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to see the start of the countdown to midnight campaign, encouraging countries to submit updated NDCs under the Paris Agreement by the end of this year. We can't let this crucial climate deadline slip because the world is burning. The largest ice shelf in the Atlantic has collapsed. A third of Bangladesh is underwater. There were so many hurricanes in the Atlantic this year, they ran out of names in the alphabet. I want to be clear, we in the CBF have not caused the problem. We heard from Oxfam last month that the top 1% of the world's income earners have produced twice as much carbon emission as the bottom 50% in the past two decades. This means the rich have burned up most of the remaining 1.5 degree carbon budget. We in the CVF, who are mostly poor countries, have done our bit to help simply by remaining poor. But this cannot go on. Bangladesh, Kenya, all the CVF countries who are now LDCs rightly aim to achieve middle income status quickly within the next two decades. If this development is done in a high carbon way, it is game over for climate. There will be no ice left in the Atlantic at all, in the Arctic at all. And my own country, the Maldives, will disappear. We have to figure out a way through this conundrum and to that I am appealing to CVF member countries to work with me and a team of world-class experts to draw up what the Bangladesh government has called climate prosperity plans. Thank you, Prime Minister. These plans will aim to deliver the economic growth and prosperity that CVF countries rightfully demand to eliminate poverty entirely and allow today's LDCs to remain reach middle income status by 2035-2040. In summary, we do not want eco-austerity, we want eco-prosperity. If we can get this effort underway quickly enough, these climate prosperity plans can feed into the NDC process. I expect the commitments to be conditional. However, on the raising of sufficient finance and technology transfer, I am not talking about aid. But even private sector capital needs credit guarantees and insurance. And our technology has to keep on improving. We are the carbon neutral aircraft. In the Maldives, we still burn diesel in our boats between islands. How can we replace it? How can we get hydrogen from solar PV on a large enough scale? And so on and so forth. All these tech developments need to include CVF countries. So we also propose setting up technology hubs based in CVF countries. These hubs will be centers of excellence in technology that can be utilized by all. We want each of these hubs to be delivered, delivered tech that can reduce emission by gigatons by the end of the decade. We in the CVF may be clim climate vulnerable, but we are not victims, we are the leaders. As Ambition Ambassador, it is my job for the CVF to take our high ambition plans, our climate prosperity plans, to form the nucleus of a high ambitious coalition that also includes the biggest and most powerful nations. This is a new paradigm for climate. Instead of I want because you want, we have I will because you will. Instead of the blame game, we have the aim game. Let's aim for high ambition, zero carbon, go back to 1.5 degrees and save the planet. Thank you.